No! This is it, man. We're doing it again. That's what your mom said la- No, no, I'm, just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Reacting to the most scary stories on YouTube, scary animations, ooh, man, I'm getting goosebumps already. Now, you guys know I always tell you don't watch this at night because, you know, you're gonna be having nightmares and everything, so if you can't watch it during the day, but if it's nighttime, then, you know, you might as well watch it. It's okay, it's not, you know, it won't hurt you. Hopefully it won't. But since we're looking at scary stories, please, everybody, comment down below the scariest movie you've ever seen. For me, I'd say it's Annabelle Creation. And that one, ooh, 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 goosebumps, man. And hopefully you guys already know that I just launched some brand new merch. We got the Get That Out of Here hoodies and we got the family friendly hoodies, yeah. So be sure to check it out. Just click that first link in the description below, teespring.com slash store slash dang Matt Smith. All the cool kids are doing it. Whoa, okay, let's go ahead and get into this scary stories. Oh, let's go. Here we go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm a grown man. Gosh dang it. I'm a man. I was on tour trying to find some really deep websites. No. I was in a chat room where people normally shared links to deeper websites and weird pictures and videos. Oh, you dummy. Illegal pornography. Some guy named Vintage Triple X posted a link without describing what it was. Don't do it. I clicked on it and it took me to a black screen where a big video box eventually popped up with a play button. Ugh. The video thumbnail was a dark room, only lit by a TV screen. No. Out of curiosity, I clicked play, and began to hear the sound of TV static in the background, as lines of static oh slowly gosh. swam down the video screen. It was a white man who no did this, didn't he? On this video. Then, I noticed something slowly <gasps> begin to emerge from behind the wall. Oh. It was a figure dressed in all black with some kind of black mask on as well. Oh my gosh, okay, look, seriously, anything that's like deep web, dark web stuff, it freaks me out, man, jeez. Cause you don't know who's on there and who's like hacking and who's like watching you and like, you know, watching you through your dang webcam or whatever, I don't know, man. If people were watching me through my webcam, it'd be the most boring thing. They'll be watching me sleeping, that'd be it. Me sleeping and, and going on Instagram. But be sure to add me on Instagram at dang Matt Smith, yeah. I started to suspect it was a jump scare video. Yeah, this dude is white, right see? When the figure leaped out and ran to the <gasps> screen in less than a second. Oh, God. It still got me, even though I was expecting it. Yeah. But then it got strange. The person had their face in front of the screen, slowly moving around as if he could see me. Don't do it. And was observing me. Then I heard a crackly, it's a black man. voice say something. It came from the video. It repeated itself, what? and I could make the phrase out to be... Ask me something. No! I was really confused. I tried typing something, but there was nowhere to enter text. What is the meaning of life? Then he said, No, not the keyboard. Say something. <sighs> I felt my heart punch the inside of my chest as he said this. I opened my mouth and mumbled the no. words, y You can hear me? Don't know. It responded with, Yes. <gasps> I was uncomfortable now. I thought it was a video. Close Press the laptop! Pause, but it didn't do anything. Close the laptop. He said, Don't, Don't try, try to leave. I want to talk. About what? I tried moving the mouse to the About climate button, change? The mouse was frozen. In fact, you none dummy. of the keys were responding on my keyboard. Oh my gosh. There was a long moment of silence. Yeah, it was. Before my webcam began flashing <gasps> as if it were on. And my face popped up on the screen. Oh, ill. There, I got a picture of you now. Now just hang on while I get your address, <laughs> and then we can meet. No! I started to panic, smashing every key on the keyboard, I would've broke my laptop. The mouse, but it did nothing. Close it! I had my finger on the power button, but it also didn't do anything. Oh my god, you're so dumb. Close the laptop. The computer wouldn't turn off. Unplug it. Take the, the battery out. saying crazy things like, You're stuck here. I will find you. Don't even bother. I snatched the screwdriver sitting on my desk, oh my unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of my laptop, wow. and took out the battery. The computer finally turned off. You're screwed, man. I was gasping for air as if I just ran a marathon. Dang. You know what's really scary about this is that green shirt. Like, come on, man, that doesn't match that hat. Like, what is going on? My heart was pounding five times as fast as it should have. Mm -mm. I have since left my laptop off after that and have resorted to using my desktop as my main computer. Mm-hmm. I'm sure by now nothing will happen. He definitely didn't have enough time to get my address. Oh. <gasps> oh! 
and you don't know that he didn't have enough time to get your address. Come on, like this is a hacker. If he's able to freeze your computer, if he's able to like keep your mouse from moving and like take photos of you and uh, get into your webcam, you don't know what they're capable of. Yeah, dang man. See, I swear, why is it always, why? When will white people learn? Stop investigating whether it's creepy caves, creepy houses, or creepy websites. Hashtag, it ain't worth it. Oh gosh, dang man. Whoo, okay, comment down below on a scale of one to pee your pants. How scared were you during that deep web video? Okay, we got another one. Let's do it. House sitting horror stories. Ugh. All right. I'm in a house now, so it's like, yeah, that doesn't make me feel good. And it's, uh, uh. Is it a jump scare? A couple weeks ago, my black man and pitched me a small job offer. One of his co-workers was going away for a few days and needed okay. somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The reason my dad pitched this to me was because this the black man looks so has bored. a CCTV system. Basically a camera in every room and then an operating desk where all screens could be watched on a big monitor. Okay. Okay, and I'm cool. a computer science major, so my dad just always assumes that I know how to work anything technological. Mm -mm. The man told my dad that he'd pay me $200 for the two days just to watch the house. Dang, $200 just to sit in the house, man? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. See, there you go, black man. Who said you have to rap to get money? I mean, see, we could, hey, we could do other things, okay? Other than rap, play basketball, tell jokes. I mean, come on. Even though I tell jokes for, you know, for my career. Yeah. Anyway, but I bet you if anything scary happens, this black man is running out. He is gone, man. He is not going to be investigating. Not tonight. Whatever that meant. My dad drove me to the house and introduced me to the man whose name doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, God dang. This dude just looks like a pedophile. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. He's got the, the classic pedophile haircut. You know, I mean, mm -mm, not today, man. You better get up on out of there, black man. His name doesn't matter. His name doesn't matter. The man made it seem like he preferred I stay in the upstairs room with the monitors as opposed to roaming the house all day. Yeah. That was fine with me, though. So when I wasn't eating, I was mostly just sitting in that room with the TV on. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. In the freezer, what'd that say? Backgrounds. Eating, I was mostly just. Wait, why does it say fish dicks? What, what is that? Hey, 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 this is family. A family channel, like fish dick. Like what kind of food is that? Isn't it supposed to be fish sticks? Not fish di I don't want to eat fish dinglings. That's nasty. Or it might be a delicacy in other countries. I don't know. Just sitting in that room with the TV on in the background and doing schoolwork on my laptop. Mm -hmm. Ironically, the thing I was doing the least was keeping an eye on the monitors. Wow. Just like a black. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I started wondering where in the house I should sleep since surprisingly we hadn't discussed that. This dude works out. Jeez. So I sat back buff. down at the desk and looked at all the different rooms on the screens to see which rooms had beds or couches. That's creepy, man. I noticed something I wasn't expecting to notice, though. The <gasps> back screen door was open downstairs. Oh. I didn't remember it being open. Get out of there. I looked through each and every camera screen in a panic. In the living room, a closet door was open. <gasps> this one I knew wasn't open earlier. Ah! I texted my dad to call the man and ask him if he came back home. No. Meanwhile, I continued watching the screen. I would have been gone, man. On the grainy, dark image, a tall person who resembled only a black shadow on the screen stepped out from the closet. Oh, heck no. I pulled my arms off the desk as I covered my mouth with my hands in shock. Get out of there! As I did this, however, my left elbow pulled some heavy objects oh, from so the dumb. desk onto the floor, creating a big thud. <gasps> the person in the image very clearly moved their head up to the ceiling <gasps> as a response to the noise. Oh, you idiot! They went for the stairs, walking up very, very slowly, step by step. Ugh. Meanwhile, I got a text back from my dad saying, No, he's not. I just spoke to him half an hour ago. Oh Why? my gosh. I got so caught up in my phone texting my dad to send help that I didn't Seriously. even pay attention to the monitor. Really? <gasps> there was a knock at the door. Don't open it. I looked at it and then the screens. The first screen I laid my eyes on was the one showing the person outside the door to the room I was in. Uh! When I remembered that door had no lock. You! <laughs> you screwed! 
Hey, at least this person was polite enough to knock. You know, I mean, they could have just busted in, man, and you would have been done for. It would have been curtains for you, man. This dude must be like half black because, I mean, come on, like a full black man would have jumped out the window already. And, you know, the half white part of him is, is wanting to investigate, so he's kind of in between. Like in limbo, he's like, eh, should I investigate? Nah, you know, he's being torn. He's torn. The only thing I could think to this do was window. jump out the window Get into the, the window. bushes below. Duh. I ran halfway down the block and then stopped when my dad called me. Smart man. I had him call his friend and ask him if he was expecting somebody in the house. Oh my gosh. The man said he had no relatives or friends who had his key or would ever let themselves into his home. Oh my gosh. So he called the cops and had them review the footage. <sighs> I got to watch all of it and it showed everything. From the moment the intruder broke the glass to the backyard door to the moment I jumped out the window and him running away shortly after. The intruder was never found. The footage was just too dark to identify his face. Wow. Should have been able to turn the lights on. <laughs> Gosh dang, see, man, now the security system is useless if the lights are off. Why don't you turn the lights on, man? In that little control room, they should have had switches where you could turn all the lights on and lock the doors and everything, man. You need a safe room. You need a panic room. But hey, you know what the important thing is? The black man didn't die first. Yeah! Ooh, my gosh. Woo! Oh man, I bet you I ain't never house sitting for anybody. I don't care how nice the house is. Damn, for $200, boy, you better get that out of here. Woo, okay, one more, here we go. The bathroom stall. Ew, even the way they write the word makes the bathroom stall look scary. <gasps> what are you gonna do? So this happened a few months ago. Mm. I'm 26. I was at JFK Airport in New York with five friends. Dang. All of us were about to fly down to Florida to spend the week in a beach house. We had a few more minutes to kill in the airport oh, before we would go on flight, <laughs> and I really had to go to the bathroom all of a sudden. Mm. I was baffled to see Shouldn't a line have had the all them the Gatorades. I noticed a janitor walking by, so I asked her if there was another bathroom nearby that wouldn't be so crowded. Whew. She left and told me she shouldn't really be telling people that there was another bathroom past the door she was pointing at, down a narrow flight of stairs, and to the left. No, don't do I that. I thanked her because she was extremely nice and followed the direction she gave me. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me that looks nice? Look at her eyes, man! She's got evil written all up in there. Man, she is up to no good. God dang, man. See, that's why you use the bathroom before you even get to the airport, okay? You just, I mean, what, what? Come on, man. Hey, that's it's the black man from the last video. Did really you see that? That was the black man. Hallway. That's the black man. That's the black man from the last video. Oh! Exposed. Oh my gosh, that's how you know. That's a sign not to go in there. If you see a black man who's like, that means don't do it, but this this white man, Mr. Conan O'Brien over here, didn't want to listen. Was a small stairway that led down to a really poorly lit, skinny hallway. Wow. It was so narrow that if two people were to pass by each other, one person would have to stand against the wall to make room. Ugh. I found the bathroom right away. Don't, The door man. was extremely heavy and hard to push. That's what she said. Also, the lights were on inside of the bathroom, and it was filthy in there. Really? It was evident that nobody ever really came in there to clean. That's disgusting. Now, this is a little embarrassing to mention, but when I go to the bathroom in public places, I always try to make sure nobody else is around to possibly hear me going. Yeah, yeah. So after checking the stall to see that it was unoccupied, oh. I went back into the hallway for a second to take a look down both directions. You could have just gone. If you're about to get on a flight, just go to the bathroom on the plane, man. Just do that instead of that nasty, creepy bathroom or just wait in line. Because at least if you're waiting in line, there's like witnesses if there's a crime. See, boy, you're not thinking, man. To the left, there was somebody standing at the end of the hall <gasps> in a dark, unlit section of the hallway. It was a disturbing sight to say the least. Uh -uh. All I could do was awkwardly pull my head back into the bathroom and try to pretend we didn't see each other. Yeah, no, bro. I went into the stall and just stood there biting my fingers for a minute, dreading the thought of that door opening. You should have just went to the bathroom. I did. <gasps> ah! I saw the man's black shoes under the stall door as he walked to the black stall. Black shoes, next that's to racist. Mine. No, I'm just kidding. He shut the door and then there was silence. No sound of the man unzipping his fly or sitting down, nothing. Run, run out of there. I realized I didn't really have to go anymore. <laughs> I went to unlock the stall door. 
That's when I looked up and saw the man's head peering over the stall looking at me. I nearly had a heart attack as my screams bounced off the walls of the tiny bathroom. No! I ran back up those damn steps and out that door. Oh my god. I casually walked back over to my friends. I was breathing heavily, but nobody seemed to notice. What? I didn't tell anyone just because it was embarrassing and I didn't want my friends to make fun of me in any way. They wouldn't make fun- I know, I guess that seems stupid now. It is stupid! We went on to have our Florida vacation and all had a good time. Oh my gosh. Of course, the thought of that creepy man haunted me every night that week. Ugh. <gasps> oh! I heard it again! Oh my gosh, man! I ain't never using a public bathroom ever again. Woo! Not today. That is like every person's nightmare is if they're in a stall and then they look up and somebody is looking down at them. Oh, ooh, ooh scary, man. Ugh. Now looking back, it's not the scariest thing, but at the same time, if you're in a creepy bathroom and nobody's around and then one dude comes in and walks creepily past your stall and gets in the one next to you oh no i'm just saying i would have realized a lot sooner that yeah you know what um i don't have to go to the bathroom anymore you know how there's those times where you're like oh i gotta go to the bathroom and you feel it you feel it but then you know you get scared and then you're just like oh, oh never mind i don't have to go in the bathroom just you know save it for later god dang oh it's ridiculous man Oh, and just like my childhood, it's over, man. Oh, that was uh, goosebumps, goosebumps. But please comment down below which of the three stories was the scariest. And click the first link in the description below to get some of the new Dang Matt Smith merch, man. We got the new family-friendly hoodies, the long sleeve, adult sizes, kid sizes, toddler sizes, all the cool kids are doing it. And we got the Get That Out of Here hoodies, teespring.com slash store slash Dang Matt Smith. Check it out. So when you guys are out there, be safe. Don't go invest investigating creepy noises or creepy houses or bathroom stalls just you know use your own bathroom in the comfort of your own home and yeah thank you guys again for watching the video click on the screen check out another one and i'm gonna see you guys next time peace